It is Tri-City Sports Now, and I'm Marky Bilson. And I want to, you heard uh, Matt Polly talk about on the sports update. Uh, just going, we, re, we talked about UT and uh, the ETSU softball team playing in Johnson City tonight now with the other rival, Appalachian State, coming aboard. Let's go ahead. Plannings, one of those midweek games, you know. They've yet to announce their starting pitchers. Now, for that matter, why wouldn't Tennessee use the same strategy and say smaller conference opponent, just like they did when they used 10 pitchers against D It boggles the mind why ETSU Hill and you sell a couple of tickets. You throw Daniel Sweeney out there on his bullpen day. You know, whatever. Anyway, you also heard us the 137th meeting. Uh, Appalachian State with a 78-57-1 record. ETSU, their SID department, they can't get any Okay. Uh, Altoral, let's see here. Do they have the uh, team ERA? Well, let's not get to that there. The player to watch is Luke Drumheller. He's a 392 hitter, which is the best hitter in the Sun Belt Conference. He's the he uh, is the Appalachian League slugger. And speaking of doubles, he has 13 of them. You might see Caleb Bowman on the bump. He's been their top relief pitcher, 4-0 with four saves and uh, a nifty 146 ERA. Ten times as bad. So, but yeah, a couple of big games, ETSU in both softball and baseball. Uh, by the way, it's a big thing since we carry Unicoi County sports. I should mention that we will also be carrying the Unicoi County Sullivan South softball game at 5.30. Kevin Powers will be broadcasting that from Irwin for you, and the game will be brought to you by the following sponsors. Irwin's favorite dentist, Dr. Jason Cunningham, the Unicoi County Gas Utility District. Also, Health and Home Care of Irwin, Unicoi County Insurance Agency, the computer guy in Irwin, who does, as I had spoken about, ETSU soft against UT. Yes, good luck with to them in that. It should be mentioned that the lady, well, they're not the lady Buccaneers anymore, are they? But there are two Unicoi County natives on the team in their senior year, Tiffany Logren, she's going to be, uh, she also is an outfielder, of course, uh, infielder also from Unicoi County, maybe with a chance uh, to get in against the volunteers, if you will. And so we'll try to get you their stats here in the next segment, Logren and Wright, on how they're doing. Uh, let's see here. Speaking of, I, I, I was talking a little bit about upsets. And earlier in the program, I was talking about how I thought the Columbus Blue Jackets, if they're able to serve, you know, you want to talk about upsets. What about the Clippers last night coming back from a 31 point deficit to the Warriors? Actually, I don't think that was that. I think the Warriors just put it on cruise control and then they fell asleep in the wheel. You know, that's my take on, or at least that's the. Let's put it that way. But yeah, do you really think the Clippers are going to beat the Warriors in the play? You know, I mean, is, honestly, isn't it this the year that you just mail the NBA title to the Warriors and I don't have to go through LeBron James, all of that? Isn't this the year that the Warriors doing so pro basketball? Here where San Francisco claims its superiority over Los Angeles. Isn't that the deal? Even especially since they're actually getting the Warriors next year. It's a really stupid column I read recently about how, you know, it's a bigger move for the Warriors to go to San Francisco than it is the Raiders to Las Vegas. You really got to be trying to have that uh, controversial column and just striking out when you try to do that. You know, you know the, oh, I don't even want to get to it because it, a downright offensive was the uh, column in there. But anyway, 
I will say this. I spoke of uh, earlier in the show, they were to uh, talk to a guy named James a Duke Tiger Woods. He just won $1.2 million on Tiger Woods Masters Victory. He put $85,000 on them in a Las Vegas casino uh, on Woods to win the Masters. He is from Wisconsin. From what I understand, he actually made the trip out to Las Vegas to place the bet. Said he had never, ever, ever placed a bet on sports in his life. You might want to talk to James Aducci about borrowing a few bucks before he loses it all. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to get to it here, you know, and because that's sort of the thing. I've never made a bet in my life, and I won a million, too. Uh, UT in softball, that would be the biggest upset. It wouldn't have any sort of a, uh, impact outside of the Tri-Cities or the East Tennessee area. I'll give you that. So in terms, you say bigger being something that is known throughout the country. Well, then no. But in terms of likely and unlikely, there you go. Uh, I say never bet on a... But I wouldn't say that that's big. I'm not as surprised by that as I am, say, the Blue Jackets beating the Lightning, especially after the year the Lightning had. And again, I think we were really getting to a point in sports where it's just... What does the regular season mean anymore? Record for victories and then fall behind 3 0. The uh, morning sports talk show, his name is Chris Mack. He actually picked the Carolina Hurricanes to do well in the Stanley Cup uh, playoffs, uh, even though they were the seventh seed. He picked them to go to the Stanley Cup semifinals. And uh, they defeated the Capitals last night 5 0 uh, to basically, in a hockey fight, you know, you might hurt your own hand on somebody else's helmet. But uh, it almost seems like a hockey fight so many times. They're always overrated, but it's pull the guy's sweater up over his uh, head because Ovechkin's, you know, got the highlight of the night knocking out uh, Svet Svechnikov. But the question then comes, wait a minute, he knocked him out and then what happened? This wasn't like, you know, Sidney Crosby reinforcing the dominance. And that wasn't even a fight. This is, why are you taking five games go on to win 5 nothing, and get back into the series? Of course, I'm a proponent. I think that it's kind of, it's time to end hockey fights, in my opinion. I remember once making a reference to Mario Lemieux uh, to a person around here. Who's that? Oh, he's a great hockey player. Oh, all I know about hockey is they fight. Really only on the NHL level. But that's all you need to know. And when that's the perception, it's fatal. Tri-City Sports Now. Sunshine, spring flowers.